Hello, in this video we're going to discuss how a geyser works. This is going to come as a surprise to everyone uh, who does not know this technology. So firstly, um, uh, a geyser is deliberately created and it uh, uses a mechanical device. So uh, I'll just describe the construction and then we'll talk about how a geyser works. So firstly, uh, deep underground, some magma is uh, placed. And uh, this is done during the terraforming phase of the planet. The magma is then uh, covered and has a shaft with uh, rocks that can conduct heat. Plus there are insulation rocks, so the initial temperature is 4,000 degrees Celsius. Uh, when it gets to the cistern, it's 200 degrees Celsius. So uh, that's the shaft with the magma. Then above that, we've got the cistern, which is a chamber. And it has a geyser door, which is mechanical. And in the center is a water spring uh, wormhole. So uh, the mechanics of the geyser is basically the water spring wormhole trickles water out in a timely manner uh, in accordance with the intent, intent of the geyser erupting at a certain time of day every day. So the whole thing is controlled by a water spring wormhole. The geyser door works on pressure. So uh, when the cistern is full uh, completely, uh, there's enough pressure there to cause the geyser door to open. It opens and water comes out, striking the shaft and then uh, being superheated to 200 degrees Celsius and then shoots, shoots upwards as a geyser. Then what happens is the geyser door closes through counterweight and the water spring uh, refills the cistern and then when the cistern is full again the pressure is enough to cause the geyser door to open and water to come out. So it's timed generally for around midday or afternoon or mid morning for a geyser to erupt. So that's basically how a geyser works. It's deliberately created and it's there for something cool for people to look at. It's not a natural occurrence, it is something that is deliberately created during terraforming. I am the Archangel Daniel and I'm from heaven.